Uh, okay, in this tutorial, I'll explain about how to use image data to create a your shading device that has that image pattern on the shading. So for example, this one is our uh, goal. Uh, here, I'm going to use surface and also this image data, smile, uh, smiling face. And then I use it to deform my grid space and I'm using Morph 2D. And as you, you will see that this shading uh, image has actually the smile face. And accordingly, you'll have a very smiling shade. Uh, shadow on your surface. Okay, so I will from I will start from scratch. Um, I will delete everything and then I will delete here too. Okay, um, so I'll start with our uh, sh so our shading device size is about 32 inch. So I'll start from zero and 32 by 36 inch surface. So I connect it to uh, Grasshopper using surface, and I'll set uh, one surface and then I select it. Uh, this one is just a uh, curve, you can draw anything, so I just did I would also start from scratch too. And the first thing you have to do is you'll divide this surface using divide the surface component. And then here I'm connect the surface to surface. Uh, we are going to use uh, some high resolution image, but it's not really high, but still we need to match that. So here I'm going to use um, 32 unit for u count which is the di uh, dimension of this width and then i'll use 36 for this v count which is the height so we are going to have 32 by 36 inch module here and after doing this we are going to import image file to, Im to import image file i'm going to use image sampler and then uh, we are going to upload this image but now i'm a little bit uh, kind of explaining a pre-processing to prepare a good image so you can download any image in any image any jpeg file or any image file you can use it but something you need to do is actually matching the proportion and resolution so here i'm going to use photoshop so i'm going to use this image file so so, so the original file was actually this one and then the original size was actually um, okay. So I will bring the original original one, which is a smile PNG file. And then actually make sure that this the pixel is the that you have the pixel the right one that right pixel you are going to use. Since we are going to use 32 inch 36 by inch uh, module. Uh, use it uh, use 32 pixels and 36 pixels with 27 uh, 72 resolution uh, be careful when you reduce down that if you activate this one this will maintain the proportion for example let's say when you unclick it I'll say uh, 16 and if you click it and if you change just one number the other number will follow proportionally so just be careful that unclick this one and then I type 32 and 36 but just use your own the, the resolution for your panel size. Another thing uh, you should be careful about is um, the, so how the, what the grasshopper will read is actually the gray and white value. So actually that uses the kind of deforming. So make sure that you have a clear, uh, also you can use color image for now. We are going to use gray file. So a little bit up, adjust the image using bright and contrast to see the difference by using contrast or brightness here. So, and then I just simply save it as some uh, smile, uh, smile, small file as JPG, uh, like JPG here. So I just select it and save it and then in, in grasshopper so i open this image sampler to find it just double click uh, image sampler this one and then double click it and then you can upload file here uh, next to file path so click this i uh, this button here and then use the image file you prepared so this one is actually i prepared uh, for this tutorial and actually you will see that uh, the image is uploaded but for now the the domain from now here is actually 0 to 1. So to match the real resolution, you have to I mean the original resolution was 32 by 36. So actually to match that, you are you need to click this one, use image pixel dimensions, which means we'll this will kind of stretch from 1 to 32. Actually, the one we are going to use is actually 0 to 32 and 0 to 36. And also make sure that you click uh, tile here. Of course, if you want to flip it, you can do it too. And here we are going to use a grayscale 
So as yeah, we are going to uh, so I will click this one color brightness. And if you use interpolate, that that value will be uh, smoothed. But actually, we don't need to care about it because we are we always use the same resolution for the panel and the image. So simply click OK. So what this will do is if you click point here, and then here now we are going to use weight attraction, uh, weight attraction is actually deform your own grid based on the location of x a y and the color brightness of this value and it will give a weight by doing that so i kind of show the difference so this is the original one what this will do is based on the x y position and the value of it it will change the point on that x y and the deform is slightly kind of like misplace it based on the weight value which is the bright value here so if you see this one then now you will see that the, your form has this kind of smiley face here and then you, you can also use magnitude let's say I type 0 0.5 here and then actually you can change the displacement more so if you use 0 there's no deformation on the other hand if you use higher value you will see that the deformation is actually more clear and so what we are kind of using this kind of deformed uh, grid uh, to create a uh, kind of curve. It's the same process that we did it for the last exercise, which I'm going to use Morph2D. And then simply I connect the grid and pattern curve. I just make a very simple one. And then I will extract parameter and I select the curves. And then if you see that, you will see that all curves are here slightly deformed following the pattern if you want to magnify more if you want to see more clearly simply just you give use more higher value like this but when you use laser cutter be careful about that if you use too higher value you said their kind of shapes are overlapped each other and then if you use high value and actually they are kind of like uh, overlap each other which probably then if you cannot use a laser cutter anymore so be careful about it but try to make any clear form and then to also using it laser cutter you want you may want to prevent any adjacent curve each other so I'm going to use the scale component and also use geometry center I'll calculate it using uh, area component and then I'll bring geometry here and the center go to center and also you can just use scale which is num you can use number slider and I connect it and then actually you can see uh, these patterns so I'll try, try to make a little bit bigger to see like this okay then actually you can use this one for your laser cutting file then actually you can have your shading device which has a shadow that looks like this smile face okay thanks a lot